I'm Jeff Hoffman. I'm a professor of aerospace engineering at MIT. Before that, I was a NASA astronaut for 19 years. I made five space flights. I was the first astronaut to log 1,000 hours on the space shuttle. Uh, and I was on the mission that rescued and repaired the Hubble Space Telescope back in 1993. And now I'm happy to be once again back at ISU in the summer session. I've been coming here since 1994. Haven't missed too many sessions and I always enjoy being here. Well, it's the excitement of, of all the students uh, from all over the world. It's a much more international. I mean, we have a lot of international students at MIT, but not nearly what we have here at, at SSP. Um, and the lectures that I give here are different than the lectures that I can give at MIT. So it, that, that's also fun. I, I give different lectures. This, this year I've only given two because it's a fairly short visit, but I've probably given six or seven different lectures during the time that I've been at coming to ISU SSP, and, uh, and it's always fun. And the experience you get working in an international environment here at SSP is very, very applicable to the sort of international work that you end up doing in professional work, so it's, it's excellent training, um, both linguistically for non-English speaking people who get a chance to work in English, and it's good training for native English speakers to learn how to speak slowly and clearly, something that particularly a lot of Americans tend to forget in the excitement of speaking fast, and of course learning the different cultural values of people work at different rates of speed, they express themselves differently when you agree with something, when you disagree with something. Uh, not all cultures like to say no, and yet you have to learn how to interpret the way people behave if you're going to work with them. So it's a, it's a very valuable experience. Well, I'll never forget the first view I got out the window of the space shuttle on my very first flight when we had just gone through my first launch, which is a pretty overwhelming experience. And then I floated over to the window and there was the coast of Africa coming up over the horizon. And that moment when I first realized that after all the training and all the dreams and all the waiting, I was finally in space. Um, I've been very fortunate in my career. I mean, I have so many happy memories. Uh, you know, another one has to be when we came back from our fifth and final spacewalk of the Hubble Space Telescope rescue mission and realized that every single thing which we had set out to do, we had been successful in doing. Uh, and, and, you know, this was such a complex mission. There were many people who really thought it was, it was too hard and that we wouldn't be able to do all the things and, and to realize that you know, all the training and the work, not, not just from us, the crew, but the hundreds of people who worked with us, helping us train, building the tools, developing the procedures, flight control. I mean, it's, it's an incredible team to put together a mission like that. But of course, we're kind of the most visible part of it. And if something goes wrong, that's our fault. And so when everything went right, it was a really good feeling. Well, um, many people come here because they are excited about space. Uh, people are excited in different ways. I mean, probably most people would like to be an astronaut as well. I mean, everybody would like to go into space and, uh, you know, certainly go for it, you know, try. But, there's so many things going on in space, and, and um, you know, there was a time when, when people were a little bit um, pessimistic about our future. Uh, you know, we had been to the moon and then we stopped, and the shuttle stopped flying, and I think there's a lot of exciting times ahead. New things are going on in space, and we need excited people and also people who can think internationally in a multidisciplinary way, and that's exactly what we're doing here at, at ISU. So, I mean, that's the message. And 
it's nothing new, but following your dreams and you know, figure out what you really want to do in life, how you can make a contribution, uh, because there's many aspects of space development, uh, not just humans flying in space, but all sorts of industrial, commercial, uh, entertainment uses of space, and uh, a lot of excitement. Be part of it. Follow your dream. Make it happen.